Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to install and configure and demonstrate YeMe add-on for Kodi that you can get from my Kodi repository. This is the add-on for YeLights. Uh, it controls YeLights and uh, you can turn on and off lights and set color, intensity, etc. Uh, when the movie starts, for instance, or the movie is paused. So, head on to uh, kodi.lanik.org that's l-a-n-i-k dot org and go to the Yimi add-on and you will see a button that says download repo. So you have to download repo to your computer and then somehow copy onto your Kodi machine. Once you download the zip file that is a repo you have to switch to Kodi and install the repo. You can do that from the add-ons, install from zip file as you see, and then go to the location where you copied the zip file. In my case, this is download, and then go to Lanik Repo 102 zip, and off you go. The repo is installed. And then you can install the add-on from the repo. You will see, if you go to the uh, repo, you will see uh, categories and under services, there is Yimi add-on. Uh, I will do uh, update, but you will have to do install because I already have it installed, so I cannot install it again. Just update it, you see. So it's installed now. And um, off we go. When you start the add-on, there's nothing there. There's just uh, configuration. Everything's working. It works in the background. Uh, first, you have to find your bulbs. There is option to uh, search uh, your network for the bulbs. And you can turn Yimi service on and off. So this is a demonstration of the Ambi service. A normal uh, Yimi service is uh, switching on and off the lights when, for instance, you start a movie, it can switch all, all, off all the lights in your home. And when you pause the movie, it can uh, switch the lights on to 50%. This is the second part, which is ambi. Uh, you can have two bulbs uh, for left and right, or four bulbs for up, down, left, right. And as you can see from the video demo, it changes the colors according to the colors on the screen. You don't need any additional hardware. It works uh, in software all the way. So as you can see, there is a slight delay, but I think it's pretty much okay. Uh, it's probably the cheapest AMBI system that you can have today for like $17 a bulb. It's really no cost. So uh, here you can discover bulbs and you can specify bulbs manually by specifying your IP address. As you can see, this is a color bulb. You can specify whether bulb is color. This is a light strip, a LED strip, which is also color and uh, for each uh, light that is used in AMBI, you can specify the region of the screen it will capture. For instance, the basic uh, setup is to set up the left and right half of the screen. Or you can just uh, uh, capture left quarter, or you can capture left and right quarter and up and down. As you can see, 50% uh, of the screen is up and down. Or you can have the regions overlap for each bulb. What will it capture? So uh, the system supports up to eight bulbs. Uh, mono bulbs cannot be used, but they can be used to be uh, switched off and on. So the next category is what happens on video play. You can specify action, which is either off or on, and then you can specify whether off and on will be smooth or immediate. If it's smooth, you can specify in milliseconds how long will it take. And uh, then you specify a uh, level of light, intensity and you can specify a color code which is a standard hacks color code that's used on html pages for instance and again uh, whether it's immediate or, or it has smooth transition which will last one second etc the same goes on for pause uh, the same goes on for stop and here are some general options uh, you can turn on the bulbs and Kodi start, you can uh, specify the hex code for color, and you can specify individually every bulb, whether it will be on when Kodi starts. You can uh, disable this add-on for MB or uh, altogether for short movies up to, uh, we, we said it here for 25 minutes, 
and uh, you can have uh, a light control active hours which means that it will not be used for instance before 9 p.m. because it's too light outside but if you set it to automatic it goes on the internet uh, gets your uh, geolocation and calculates uh, sunrise and uh, uh, sunset and sets it accordingly here you can test each bulb and test what it would look like simulate like play pause and stop uh, and here you can specify controllers. Controllers are like tablets that you use to control your light. And uh, you can just set it up so uh, that uh, Cody sends a command to your controller. So the controller switches the screen to a media center controller. And when you press the stop button, it returns. So that's about it. I think that now you are ready to use this add-on. So it's www.lanik.org or cody.lanik.org. Bye.